Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, and we're gonna beat Cerberus, the Guardian of the Underworld. This boss is really, really tough at this point in the game. First off, you don't have pretty much your best ability in the game, which is block, if you're asking me. Uh, yeah, really tough. Um, it's really, if anything, just a war of attrition. Because he'll, he'll do this phase and lower his head, and then you can attack him easily. So all I like to do is focus on one head, get a couple hits, then roll out of there. Just keep doing that, and dodging his other attacks, and you should be good. Whoa, what the... No, don't do that! What are you doing? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, just... This is really what it comes down to. He'll start doing other attacks, but literally just do not target the head, the middle head at all. Don't do that. Uh, I guess you can use... Oh, yeah, he does this. Not very hard to dodge at all. You can also use... Uh... Spells, I guess. I don't know. Probably. I, mean, I just did. You know, coming from the guy that said magic is useless, I've sure been using a lot of magic. I find that very odd. What, what are you doing, you stupid dog? Uh, I remember this boss. Ugh, oh, such a pain. He's never wanted to die. It's just so tough. And oh, great, this is other attack. I don't even... Can't even think of a name for it. Basically, stuff will just appear. And it's annoying, and you gotta dodge it. You, can, you don't have to dodge roll, you just walk. Pretty much faster than it, so... Yeah, I don't really know how to commentate this. You need to not be making stupid mistakes like that, dude. I don't know what your deal is. You think you are, but you can't be doing that. All right, he's back to his normal phase. Might as well waste some stuff like this. Yeah. I, I, if you can get three hits off, I guess that's good. I mean, this is always how I've done it, and it's really just, I think, it's the best way how to approach this boss. Oh, no. This probably will be a long episode just because this boss has so much health, and it really usually takes a while for me to beat him. Oh no, I like using uh, Freeze, because, you know, Cerberus, kind of, Underworld, Fire, Ice usually beats Fire in most situations, except Pokemon, sometimes Final Fantasy, so I don't know. Maybe we can get, like, multiple heads in with that. Oh, great, he's using his stupid Shadow Darkness Fire thing again. That sucks. Also, if I, you can bounce back his uh, Fireball things, get tech points and stuff, it's really hard, because he shoots, like, three of them at a time. I don't know. Uh, it's not a good strategy if you ask me. And yeah, Donald, since he has the ability to berserk, he's doing extra physical damage. The problem is he's terrible at doing physical damage. So I don't even know why he's alive. Hey, it doesn't even look like he's hitting him. I'm too distracted by Donald getting hit. Not a good thing. Alright. And yeah, get Goofy's back. I don't know if I explained it. Uh, you don't actually have to heal your partners. They kind of just come back whenever they feel like it. And yay! I can't believe I actually did that. Cerberus has been defeated! Hi-ho! Alright! Did we win? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, I, I really honestly... Oh my gosh, that almost scared the crap out of me. My cat just... Okay, never mind. Thus, I do hereby dub thee junior heroes and confer upon thee full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Further... Hey, what do you mean, junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Okay. We'll be back. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. My lips are sealed. So I guess we actually really didn't beat Cerberus, because Hercules pretty much took him down to 99% health, and we just finished him off. That was what I was saying. My cat just stuck its paw out of the, like, hole of the door, and it kind of scared the crap out of me. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Hey, are you alright? 
Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness, but it backfired. I fell into darkness, and I couldn't find the light. I see a treasure chest. You'll find it. I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. And yeah, we got an ability, Sonic Blade. I don't like using those abilities. And yeah, uh, I guess something to explain. You're Final Fantasy fans. Uh, ah, crap, skip a cutscene! I can never talk! Oh, never mind. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating. He makes me crazy. <sighs> Wait a minute. Be worried about me. All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Come on. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. Anyways, like I was saying, the reason... Uh, Cloud looks like, uh, not like he did in Final Fantasy VII is because the guy that was supposed to be Cloud in this game was actually supposed to be, uh, Vincent from Final Fantasy VII. Not a lot of people know that. I was actually kind of shocked to learn that because he kind of looks sort of weird and undead. I thought that's, <laughs> like, I never heard of Final Fantasy before playing this game. And I always thought, like, uh, for some reason I just made this up, like, Cloud somehow got his hand bitten by Cerberus, and that's why he was helping Hades, because he wanted it back. But, as a lot of you know, that is not the case at all, even remotely. So, I don't, I don't know, his hand just looks so weird. Anyways, though, with our little confrontation taken out of the way in Olympus Coliseum, we're heading on to New Worlds on search of stuff. And hopefully we'll find that stuff, and ooh, I'm still in voice diff. Ugh. I don't know, it's, uh, this game, I don't know, it's just, I'm really into recording it, and then some days I'm not, I'm like, oh, got a core file busy, King Heart, uh, got to sit through 50 hours of cutscenes, when in reality, the cutscenes in this game are not even long. I totally said I wasn't going to be shooting the whole time here, but I guess I am. Ugh. I don't know, I, I really love this game, I just think the end game of it is so much stronger than the beginning. It's it's ridiculous, it's like it's two different games, I swear. It's just that di that big of a difference. And yeah, we made a transition into a new place, that's cool. And I'm gonna take care of that rock as I get Cindy, which I don't even know what Cindy is from from Final Fantasy. I thought I was a hardcore fan, guess no. Anyways, look, man, I, uh I'm having the burps. I'm having the burps. I'm having memory loss. I'm having crappy commentary all around. When I mean, that's an awesome place. I mean, I thought Wonderland was bad. Well, that place. Uh, no, this is bad. It's really bad. And actually, here's a reason to break in this game. Do that. Yeah, I never even thought of that, actually. What a silly Willy. And I still got hit with Yeah, take care of you jerks. Man, I'm just not having a good day. Like, the thing is, I can't even express why I'm not having a good day, because I don't understand. We have this. We didn't even do anything in school today because it was Spirit Week. All we did was face paint each other blue when we're definitely the Silver Eagles and blue isn't even a color of all... I don't, I don't understand this place. It's, it's weird. Anyways, I'm just... But vlogging, this is a walkthrough. Darn it. Hey, Donald, maybe the king makes it down there. 
in a backwater place like that, no way. Uh, okay. Let's move on. Hold on, Riku and Kairi might be down there. Let's check it out! Forget it, we're on an important mission. Just land! No. <laughs> Come on! Ah, uh, fooey. We're landing. Don't touch that, no. I don't know what I was doing. I just wanted to do really awkward voice acting for some reason. And I think I accomplished my goal. Whatever. No, it's just my friend, Rhett, like, we were doing something in school, and he was just reading this thing randomly. And it was like, read the sentence. And he just read it very monotone. Like, amazing job, Kyle. <laughs> uh, I'm weird, and this has been oh, my head. a bad recording episode. Donald? Goofy? No, that is wood. Your mistake, and that is a paw. <gasps> You're not Donald. <laughs> uh. Oh crap! It's a load-bearing boss. I don't even know what a load-bearing boss is, but this seems like one. And yeah, this is a tiger. We would be, or, I, mean, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like every animal put together except turtle. That's what I'm gonna call it. Every animal but turtle. Yeah, we gotta fight this guy. Uh, really hard. No, not really. He's very easy, and he's already dead. Yeah. Pat's on the back. Pat's on the back. We're looking all awesome. Like, yeah, beat up that tiger. What's up? Or lion. Or seahorse. Whatever. It's dead. That's all that matters. And here comes one of my favorite Disney characters ever! Because he has cool hair. I don't know why, this is funny to me. It's like, oh crap, he has a stick. Danger. Sabor? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is this place? This place, this place. Okay. Where did the others go? Look, I got separated from my friends. Have you seen them? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's so friends. <laughs> friends. Right, my friends. There's two of them. The loud one is Donna. Uh -huh. You know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends, Riku and Kairi. Look for Riku. Friends. Right. Kairi. Friends. Uh, right. Um. Oh, friend, here. Really? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Friends, here. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan, go. And I'm Sora. Tarzan go, Sora go go. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. And yeah, this is one of the more confusing places in the game. But also one of the more fun ones. Deep Jungle, based on the movie Tarzan. But you probably knew that already. Yeah. Uh, I really want to be a safe point right now because I want to end this recording. So I don't know. Uh, did I say that? No, I didn't. And this is becoming awkward very quickly. Of course. Where are we? On a rock. I sure hope Sora's okay. Ah! Who needs him? We can find the kid without him. Huh? Hey, we're not even using that weapon anymore. Oh. Bullcrap. Continuity error. Ew, it pooped! <laughs> I'm sorry, but you cannot you cannot avoid like deny that that looked like it just duck dumped. 
Oh crap, it's the Devastator. His cudgel would assimilate us all. But none of you get that joke, and none of you ever will. Whatever. And yeah, Tarzan, he jumps. And he does other stuff. And yeah, this is actually the first introduction of other party members other than Donald and Goofy. Yay, let's jump down the tree. Yay, let's get out of the treehouse and start doing stuff that are not relating to trees. And you know what, guys? We did a lot in this episode. We met our best friend, Tarzan. Even though he looks very constipated right there. We found this new place called Deep Jungle. And I think we did beat Cerberus and crap and lost a cloud. So next episode, we're going to explore the world of Deep Jungle. In the next episode! <laughs> this is the worst recording session.